Hey guys, welcome back. I just wanted to say sorry that I haven't been posting as much as I used to lately. I'm having a lot of bad health issues right now and it's been kind of complicated because of the quarantine and all that so I haven't been able to film the videos but I do have a lot of ideas in my queue and a lot of things in the works so please don't give up on my channel. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit subscribe because I do have a lot of videos coming up, a lot of ideas, and I have a lot of things that I'm hoping to share with you guys soon. Today I'm going to be talking about the Bear Photo Special box camera made by Ansco. So I'm going to show you some pictures I took with it. And I also recently have started developing my own black and white film, so I shot a roll of black and white film in this camera as well that I'm going to go over with you guys. So uh, let's get started. Bear Photo service camera is actually the Ansco Cadet B2, I believe. This one, this particular one, was made for a company in San Francisco called the Bear Photo Service Company. And um, it has a little emblem on the side for the company, and it has a bear on the front with sun rays on it. So I bought it years and years ago just because I thought it was pretty and it was for decoration. But then once I started shooting film, um, I was really excited to finally get to actually use it. If you remember my last video about a box camera, it was the Kodak Target 616. I shot some Lomography Red Scale film in it um, just to test it out, and I actually ended up really liking that film. So I shot a roll of that film with this camera as well for the test roll. And then now that I can develop black and white film at home while we're in quarantine, I decided to shoot a roll of Ilford Pan F Plus 50. Um, that way I could develop it myself. So I developed that. I'm going to go over the pictures here with you guys. So first up is the roll of Lomography Red Scale that I took um, to the cemetery. This is a picture of a memorial made for veterans here uh, locally. And I just love the hands on top, the praying hands. And I think with the Lomography Red Scale film, it just really, I feel like it really suits the subject. I, like I said in my last video, I just really liked it. So there's that one. And again, with this camera, I'm noticing the fall off around the edges in the top corners. The bottom corners look pretty sharp. Everything else is really sharp, but the top falls off. So I'm not sure, again, if that's just my lens or if these lenses do that. Now the next picture, again, is another memorial for veterans and it has the eagle on top and I just love the red colors coming out the red colors of the wreath and even the street looks like it's red I even actually like that the top is out of focus and came soft in soft focus because I think it makes the rest of the picture that the important parts of the picture pop now this picture is of a tombstone for a husband and wife and I just love the statues that are around the cemetery. I love taking pictures of the religious statues. I want to note that I, if I do go there to take pictures, I always make sure nobody's there. I don't want to disturb anyone. It's just, I, it's beautiful to me. I love, I love religious architecture and I love religious statues and things like that. And then here's a close-up version of that same picture. Now with this camera, like most other box cameras, you have to be, I think, four feet or more away. This one didn't come out too blurry. I think I might have been a little too close with it, but this is landscape. So I used it, the camera sideways and took a landscape picture. And uh, I think it came out pretty good. Now this last one is my favorite picture of the roll. It was this really beautiful tombstone that was in the shape of an angel. And I just really love it. I got, I got down on the ground for this one to be level with it. And, um, I took the picture level with the tombstone itself and you can see that everything even in the foreground came into focus and uh, I just really love it with the colors from the Lomography Red Scale with the yellow, the yellow sky and everything. Okay, so that's it for the Lomography Red Scale roll of film that I took with the camera. Now I'm going to go on to the Ilford Pen F50 Plus that I took and also that I developed myself. I developed it in FPP76, which is Film Photography Project's version of D76 developer. And I scanned them myself too with my Epson V800. So I'm still kind of getting used to 
scanning and developing. I actually am hooked. I really enjoyed the process. So this first picture is of the pine trees behind my house. Again, it has soft focus. And I don't know if it's the, the, the scanner because you have to adjust the negative holder so that it, you know, if it's closer to the glass or not, you can raise it up and down to see what focuses better. And I'm still kind of getting used to that. If you have any tips for that, leave it down in the comments. So the top is in focus, and but the rest around the edges is really out of focus. But I do still like the shot. Now this one of the roof peak of my house came out pretty good. Uh, you can even see the clouds. I'm surprised the clouds actually came out. Usually with these cameras, the cloud definition doesn't come out. And then this picture with the palm tree, this is my neighbor's house. I really like the, the palm tree and the way, it, the way it looks with this film. I tried to adjust the focus with the scanner, but this was the best that I could get it. And you can see that the middle is really sharp and in focus, and then it falls off around the edges. This picture is of my avocado tree above my house. And that's about it for that roll. So that's it for the pictures that I've taken with the camera. Now just a little bit about the camera itself. The, um, the shutter is a little clunky. I'm not sure if that's just mine. It might be stiff. I have to push it down and then push it back up to get it to close. It, it didn't seem to affect the pictures though. And then the advancing knob, actually, I've shot with quite a few box cameras, and so far this one is the easiest that I've used. The advanced knobs tend to give me a lot of trouble, the, the film falling off of it, or, you know, I can barely turn it to the next one, I can't get a grip on it. So this one was really nice. I liked the, it's, I guess this is the key. The key was really nice on this one. Now the ground glass... Uh, viewfinders are a little bit hard to see, especially in shade or lower light, um, but everything else worked really nice. There is a time setting on the side. You pull that out and it's pretty much the same as bulb. You hold the shutter open and the shutter stays open on that setting. There's no setting on top like the Kodak brownies that I was using. You can't change the aperture, so that's the only downfall to this camera. So if you're thinking of picking up a box camera, I definitely recommend this one because you don't need an adapter. It takes 120 film. It's just really nice to use. It came and it was in pretty good shape unlike other ones that I found. I didn't have to fix the mirrors in there like I usually do with these cameras so that was good. So this was kind of a quick video. I just wanted to get this one out. I shot with this camera for our project box camera that I mentioned last time. Um, that There will be a link for that website down below. Um, if you want to go check out all the photos people are taking with box cameras this year, it's really nice. They've done a really good job. So the link for that will be down in the description. And uh, until next time, I hope you're all staying safe and staying sane in this quarantine. I know everybody's going kind of nuts. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't yet, subscribed because I do have a lot of ca videos coming up about the Nikon F, the Rolly Flex that I have. Um and many, many more. I have a lot of ideas. I have a long list of <laughs> projects in the wings. So if you're interested in that, please hit subscribe. So until the next one, stay motivated and keep shooting. So let's load it up. There's already a take-up spool in there. Come around, tighten it up. Now we're going to stick that back in there. There we go. See it's turning it. Dots. And number one.